All right, Market Watch, I gotta show you guys something really cool. These go up for sale today at 1 p.m. EST from Metamats. And you guys, you guys love Amanda La Palm's work, right? Check this out. Okay, I, I have a lot of stuff to show you here. So these go up for, there's 110 of these um, being made. Uh, they're gonna be 125 each, but yo. Okay, so this is just the beginning. By the way, that's, that's Construct. All right, I this opens up. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. All right, so there's this man. Amanda does some sick work. Like honestly, like this is insane to me. This is this is what we care about, right? Construct sleeves, right? Oh my gosh, the window. Look at this. Look how, look how adorable that is. Oh my gosh. And then we have window sticker. And then this is this is the, the heat to resist on. Honestly. This looks sick. Look at that. And then here's the back of it. Oh my god. It looks so cool. And then uh, we have this. Ooh, 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 piece of candy. Oh, so we have Construct, and then we have Winda. That's actually really sick. Interesting way that it folds, too. But I like this half of the mat. That's awesome. And then, um, uh, they're dice in here, too, from her. Well, I am really bad at undoing knots. But that's the gist of everything here. So I will leave a link down below to the Facebook page for Metamats. That way you guys can check them out today. And if you're interested in getting something like this, like, this is really cool. Also, for those of you that uh, have stuck around and uh, watched this, we'll be doing something with Amanda at least a couple of times. I have a really cool field center idea in the works that's just like these. We're gonna make a hundred of them and it'll be something to look forward to on top of some other relatively interesting stuff to come. But this is cool. I like this a lot. Not too shabby of an idea. This, this is actually something really cool for display. So guys, let's dig them into Market Watch, shall we? Welcome to pre ten, yeah pre pre sales yeah. So uh, this is still dumb as crap. Still forty nine dollars for these, by the way. Um, enjoy. Uh, Apollosis down to thirties, I guess. Uh, pot of extrads are twenty fives, I guess. Ips are twenty threes, I guess. Savages at twenty threes, I guess that's all right. It's probably the most realistic thing I've seen so far. Mystic Minds at 10s. Eh? Um, Gizmex at 7s, alright. Phantasme is at $9. Huh. Huh. I wonder about that. No materials at 6s. Megaclops? Ooh, 4 bucks. That's, that's, that's a good one. Only one Abermax at 20 Hmm, that's also kind of sus. Uh, Schmetta at 4 bucks. Okay. Um... I guess outside of that, we just kind of dip down. These prices are so bad. Like, the only... The Mega Clops for four, I guess, is all right. <laughs> like, it's kind of what the card's always been. But everything else feels... Uh, how do you say a lot of overpriced crap? Yeah, I would just be patient on the tins. Like... Just, just hold. You'll, you'll be fine. All right. I'm about sold out on mine, so not, not much hope there for you getting them for me anymore. All right. Regular pot of extravagances. 122s, by the way. You can get some fresh unlimbs. <laughs> not first ed. Uh, let's see here. I love the flood of the Korean ones. Uh, 42s on these. Okay. Sure. Uh, Toon Chaos Ultra is coming in at about $26. I like how these are more than the the tin versions. Okay. 
interesting. Rescue Cats. I've been looking at this every day this week that we do these on Market Watch. Still, it's $80. It, hey, hey, Mark, hey, Market Watch. Did you guys know Rescue Cats bought out? Yeah, uh huh. We, we cover this every single day. It doesn't get any better. Uh, just like my sleep demons, they still have the same faces. All right. Red Ice Fusion Super Airs. Huh. You know, had you, you know, listened some time ago. Uh, and you bought these early, as is tradition with these sorts of things. You you would have won the lottery, right? Like you you guys you guys like winning, right? Right, right, kids. You like winning, son, right? But nah, man. People just love losing out here. So supers twenty nine dollars. I hope they print it as an ultra somewhere so we just watch this price go and die. All right, that'd be great. Uh, I don't know why these are still 70 some dollars. Uh, it hasn't got the reprint. I don't know why this card hasn't got the reprint, but 71 is lowest, and you start trickling on up to like 71, 72, um, which, you know, is a lot of money for a Link Monster. Bingo Machine Go Burr. All right, so. God, these are still $40. Doesn't that pain you to know that, like, for a casual Blue Eyes player, if you want to play three of this, that's $120. Oh, hey, look, orbitals are cheap. I still don't know why we didn't get Afterglow in the tins this year. I like how they just kind of slapped that set out of the way and was like, no, you don't get these. $20 for Super Rare, by the way. $20 for Blackwing support, by the way. A lot of stuff in this in this set in general needs a reprint. Like, this set is one of the ones that's got a lot of missing support here, so... Yeah, hopefully we'll we'll see stuff like the Afterglow Dragon finally get printed. Ah, yes! It's gotten worse! You know, I figured they would have reprinted this card in an OTS pack, or, you know, they would have dropped it in the set uh, with Infernoble support. No, they just have straight chose to not reprint this card. You are looking at literally a $20 common that you need right now. And by the way, Konami's full aware that the player base is playing this card. They just chose not to print it. Now, I'm not saying, you know, this is out of the question for the next OTS pack. Because it's not. You, you could very well see this for the next set. But, yikes. Oh, Treacherous Trapple, huh. Seven bucks. Okay. Crossroads of Chaos. What are these going for now for first eds? Oh. <laughs> That's a big jump. These are $64 for first eds. Why? I Things I, I see get bought out from this game for $500. It, it always is very interesting. We're $29 right now on the Verte Anacondas. Okay. Um, this doesn't surprise me. What surprises me is we haven't hit a much higher amount sooner. I also see the death of my boy Phantasme here. $7. This set died quickly. Like, okay, so uh, Imperms are holding decent value, and the Anacondas are like your two biggest things. And then there's just Halle Fibrax, which is literally like still a $24 card. Union Carriers died quickly. Celine's still holding about five bucks. And Lavionier's kind of dipped down. But outside of that, like, this set had good cards for its time, but very interesting. All right, Plunder Patrol stuff. Oh, look, $8, $8, uh, $2. Uh, if you want to pick up a Plunder Patrol core, wow, that's cheap for the emblem. Honestly, this is not a bad time to want to, you know, consider picking this up. This is very cheap and affordable, almost, is, isn't it? Like, okay. I, I like when my Plunder Patrol stuff is cheap. Crackalackins are down to $17. All of the foreign copies are wiped off of the market. And it uh, looks like we're kind of calming down a little bit. I don't know what happened last week with this craziness, but uh, that was a ride. Let me tell you what. Whew. All right. Harpy stuff. Oh, $640, by the way. Uh, only one Italian copy of This Remains on the Market at $300. Somebody's been buying those out. That's interesting. 
Harbi cards in general are disgusting. Speed to Harbi Sister, $74. Yeah, um, this is going to be a no for me, Chief. Cyber Harbi Lady prize cards are 130 Harbi Queens are down to 15s. What a crock of crap, man. Like, our lost art market. Oh, yeah, by the way, sealed ones are way more than this. Check eBay. It's a ride. Foolish Barrels are 14 bucks. Legendary Fisherman's 5 bucks. Why? Um, 8 bucks on the Harpy. Gustav is down to 4. I should probably buy one. Dollars on. If anybody's got a Gustav, reach out to me on Facebook. Save me some time. Also, if you got a deal on 3, uh, three offering to the doomed at not this. PM me. I'd like to just complete my sets. All right. Huh. I'll be dang doodled. All right. Well, uh, she didn't get the reprint, so I guess she's money now. Uh, don't be surprised if you see this card touching $15 at some point. Waifu Crater and Fortune Lady card. It, it's a matter of time, unfortunately. Huh. Things that I bet you didn't know for 500 And this, this makes me laugh. So, when I read this on my thread today on Facebook for Building Market Watch, they were like, hey, Robbie, check out Gold Dark Magician. And I'm like, nah. And then I was like, oh, you know, we should probably include it. Huh. These are $14, by the way, for no explainable reason. It's almost like opening up the set was worth it now. All right, Lightning Vortex First Edition Ultimate Rare. 106, basically 111. Well, 300 for near mint. Those truly went to the moon. Holy crap. Oh. Comments from the Machine Reactor Structure Deck. I, honestly, just like certain comments in general from some Structure Decks. Uh, seven bucks. And then, uh... You kind of just trickle on down here into some of this other stuff. Uh, I, see, I see a lot of cheap stuff back here. Uh-huh. What all was even in this Structure Deck? Uh, huh, 15 cents on those. That's not horrible. Oh, yeah, my boy Hardened Arm Dragon was in here. I remember that. Car Trooper was in here. Look at all these 10 cent cards. Huh. Kind of interesting when you, when you look at some of this stuff. Some of us can't type, I see. All right, Max C also had a common printing here. Oh, yeah, it was in the Machine Reactor. Man, when you yield machine react, think about this though. Think about this. Bada bing, bada boom. Your, your two priciest cards right here lined up for you in a nice little bow. All right, Chaos Creator. Hmm. These are 13 bucks. I'm glad to see that these are going up? Question mark? Oh, yes, the death of the uh, collector's rare market, too. Ah, oh, this has been bad. Two, 220. 210. Ugh. The Emperors are down, but you notice it's all like the Unlims that are cheap. Gammas are down to 90s. Yeah, the, the collector's market has not been nice at all. Renault's 30s. Yeah. It's doing its thing. Alistair the Invoker of Madness at $22. Uh, Cosmo stuff. Just 20s on these. Cosmo Jomi Daddy's 13. Tens. A lot of stuff kind of creeping up back here. Even in Permanence First Editions, have been a pretty big crapshoot too, as of late, for what I've seen. Uh, 105, yikes. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on this, by the way. These are officially like 300 bucks for Rosés. <laughs> 50s, 48s, ugh. 30 Sky Striker stuff going back up. That's what I like to see. Very nice. Uh, first edition Dolkas. Have these always been this bad? $23. Huh. Cyber End Dragon from Legendary Collection Light Play for $14. Uh, first Ed's for $25. So good luck on that one. Access Codes at $68. And IP Masquerina is down to $22. Bucks. How the mighty have fallen. Huh. Well, that's all I've got for today's market watch. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. 
And well, guys, make sure today at one that you get the cool sets uh, from Metamats and Amanda the Pump. I guess I'm out. Peace. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.